Hello, thanks for tuning into this episode. Before we start, Fintech Focus TV is brought to you by Harrington Star, global leaders in financial technology recruitment. Head to the Harrington Star website and check the links below so you can download the latest copy of the Financial Technologies magazine. And also, we've got the TradFi and DeFi Era of Convergence documentary coming up. If you're interested in the merger of the two, please get in touch. Thanks a lot and enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to another episode of Fintech Focus TV with me, Toby Babb. Today, I'm absolutely thrilled to introduce you guys to uh, Lawrence Jones, who is the Regional Director for the Americas of Fix. Lawrence, how are you doing? Good, Toby. Thank you for having me on today. An absolute pleasure. Likewise. Look, we've been, uh, we've been talking a bit recently about some really exciting stuff that we're going to be doing. Uh, and not far on the horizon, uh, out in November, is the uh, Americas Trading Conference of Fix. And we're going to get into all of that in a minute because I think the agenda is fantastic. There's some really exciting things that I've seen that, that I think people have been waiting to get into and tucked into in that. So really excited to share a little bit more about what that day looks like. But before we do that, Lawrence, tell us a little bit about yourself and Fix. Yeah, sure. So my role here at Fix is I'm the Americas Regional Director. So I'm responsible really for anything that goes on in the Americas, uh, which is scary that they give me that kind of responsibility. Um, we also have regional directors in EMEA, um, we have one in APAC as well. So we have very good kind of global coverage. FIX is a, a global standards organization, but my role really is overseeing everything that goes on within the Americas. I kind of have responsibility over relationship management with a lot of the members that fall within the US. And we have some very big, large global banks, very big, large global asset managers, you know, the Black Rocks, the Goldman Sachs, the JP Morgans. We have the big, you know, the companies like the Bloombergs, the big trading exchanges. We have a very wide reaching kind of membership. So my role really here in the US is really having the oversight of everything that goes on with the working groups, with the committees and really kind of being the face of fix for the Americas. I was, I was over at the uh, EMEA trading conference here in London, you know, a, a few months ago. And I think it was, it was a real euphoric sort of meeting that it was one of the first ones post COVID that we got yeah. people back to back together. And there was a, there was a great buzz around it and some really interesting conversations. And it was like kind of like that first time where you saw the world coming back to normality. I've done the America's Trading Conference a couple of times, and it's a uh, you know it's a it's a great thing to catch up with people and, and meet people. Tell us about the excitement out there in New York for for this to be happening as well. Yeah, I mean, so you you just kind of nailed it on the head, where right? you know the Amir one was the kind of first in person since 2019, and likewise in America's this is going to be the first in person event since we had October in Boston 2019. I think we all kind of rolled into 2020 fully expecting to have the the New York one, and April 2020 everything moved virtual, which we've kind of handled very well. But there's a lot of buzz around this. There's a lot of excitement, as you said, it's in person. We have the event on November the 8th. It's in New York City. It runs from 11 a.m. till 6 p.m. Huge excitement around it. We have a huge list of sponsors, some of the biggest names in fintech and just in the wider finance industry. You know, we've got Bloomberg, we've got Broadridge, we've got R3, uh, Line Data, Ostra, uh, ITRS, and Coral Blocks. So, some huge names in there sponsoring. So, firstly, thank you to all those sponsors for kind of backing that. Uh, and we got some great speakers as well. I think, you know, outside of the sponsor firms, when we look at some of the speakers we have, you know, outside of yourself, we've also got people from BlackRock, people from Goldman Sachs. We've got speakers from Jane Street, uh, Exact Pro, Market Access. You know, we've got some huge names in the industry that are speaking on what we see as very relevant topics in the industry right now. So there's a huge buzz. You know, really can't wait for it. I think everyone's been kind of eager to get back into that in-person conference so i did the sifma event in uh arizona kind of may time this year and there was a huge buzz around that uh yeah. we're also very fortunate in this event to have partnered with sifma and also with the women in derivatives networks so two very relevant groups to the industry couldn't be more happy with the fact that those two want to partner with us and want to be part of this event so um yeah we're all really excited about it yeah, and it's a, it's fa it's fantastic as you say, and uh, the events I've been to have, have, have just sort of been waiting to happen for you know for ages, and I think that's sort of a, a massive thing for exhibitors and attendees, at, you know, life. People are there, and and it's yeah. uh, 
yeah, I, I think one of the things that I saw, you know, particularly doing FinTech Focus TV over the last couple of years, you know, particularly at the, the very height of the pandemic is people were saying, right, we've lost the ability to meet and connect and do trade chat. And you forget how significant a part of you know, people's buying decisions it is, but also people's you know, selling process. And to have yeah. that back and, and for it to be as adopted as it has been and to have that, that sort of excitement around them has, has been brilliant, brilliant to see. You mentioned something a little, uh, uh, you know, a, a little earlier where you spoke about the, uh, the content. And I think content is so important to, you know, to, to a good conference. Fix is usually get, you know, gets this exactly right. But I noticed there's a little bit of evolution in, in, the, uh, in the content for this particular one. I think sometimes it can get very technical around some of the things we're, we're looking at, but there's been a real yearning for more talk about digital assets, the people aspect. This is a great, you know, I looked at this and I thought this is exciting. It's, it's an agenda there that isn't just uh, the same as, as, we've, as we've seen for the last decade, which I think I've, I've heard from yeah. other conferences that it's kind of rehashing the same old thing, having the same old conversations about yeah, consolidate the tape or whatever it may be. This is an exciting agenda that we're putting in front uh, in front of people at the moment. Talk to us yeah. about what people can expect from it. Yeah. So, and I think again, you nailed it on the head. I think you know, fix in itself, it's it's a very technical world. It's you know, it's it's data standards. It's a standards body. There's a lot of, as you said, you know, people used to talk about consolidated tape, and we still have an element of that in in our agenda because we we feel that there's a there's a good need to push that out to the community, and there's an interest mm. and desire to learn more around. As an example, fix orchestra. Um, but outside of that, there's some very relevant topics that we're going to be focusing on that have been a lot of traction in the industry uh, and things that the fixed community is very active in. So we're starting the event with digital assets, you know, a very popular topic right now, whether you are someone who has historically traded a cryptocurrency in their bedroom or whether you are an institutional firm that is now looking to get more into the digital asset space. So we have a, a huge session on digital assets. The first session is in the main room and that's gonna be for every attendee of the conference. It's also very timely because within Fix, we've just released some standards for people to use Fix messaging in order to trade digital assets. So it's got a very timely topic, so we'll be touching on that as we go through the event. We then get into post-trade. Post-trade is obviously something very kind of close to my heart as I've kind of worked in post-trade for the last 16 years. So we're going to be talking a little bit about what Fix has been doing over the last couple of years, mostly around the payment and settlement space, which then ties in very nicely to T plus one. And again, there's a huge kind of focus right now on the proposal from the SEC to move from a T2 to a T1 settlement cycle, which is currently scheduled for Q1 2024, but the industry is trying to push that back uh, to Q3. And then we've got sessions on repo and sec lending. Uh, we've got the technical session, as, as you kind of touched on. We've got a session on trading and IOIs. And then we finish with a very different session, which is about people and diversity and inclusion. Very different to what Fix has historically done in, in the events, as you mm. said, very relevant. It's being moderated by Lona Mazumda from the Women in Derivatives Network. Uh, yourself, your fine self is on that panel. And we have a number of other great speakers on that <laughs> to talk about kind of, you know, the importance of diversity and inclusion, the shift in kind of working cultures obviously everyone works from home a lot more now i'm sat here in in my house and you're actually in your office but you know a lot of people are doing i disguise that i disguise it as a house <laughs> i was gonna say I, I always thought this was your house until you kind of <laughs> gave me a piano of your office Run around. Um, but yeah it's, it's it's very different and we think it's very relevant and we don't just want to do the the very mundane but you know his fix you can use this tag or on this message that's very important but there's a lot more, there's a lot more content out there that we feel that we can educate the industry on. And to be honest, I'm looking forward to learning as well. I think that people session, I'll probably learn the most in that session yeah. out of anything else. I think it's I think it's amazing that you're doing it because you know I've I've been on the conference scene in, in financial technology for for you know a good couple of decades now. And it's always interesting about how you know something that's as important as as people are to the yeah. success of every single business within it, within it sort of gets devalued a little bit. And I don't think it's been something now. I, I can think, I'm, I'm racking my brain about all the, you know, the, the events I've seen. I've never seen it on the agenda. And, and I think you've got a great partnership there with women in derivatives who, you know, who are doing some incredible stuff. And, and I was really thrilled to, you know, to, to, get, to get involved in this panel because I'm so passionate about you know, the concept of, of creating better workforces. I'm so cognizant of the fact that 
great companies are great companies because they, they're able to attract and retain great people. And I think in this space, there's been a lot of volatility about people moving and how quickly technologists are moving within the space and everything in between it. So we've got to work really, really hard at getting this right. And to have this as, 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 as significant a feature it is at the event, I think it's testament to, to you guys as a community recognizing that you go through all the way through that, that, you know, that agenda and it's packed with value, I, I think, for people there, which is going to be something there which really allows people to thrive from, and gain value from an event. So it's yeah. not just coming there, in my opinion, you know, turning up to, to another event, um, you know, talking about the same sort of stuff. This is a really exciting event there, which I think people will come around and meet great people and network but also come out with stuff there that's going to move their businesses further forward as well, right? I mean, yeah, exactly. And we've already had a, you know, we've got, what is it, probably five weeks until the event, but I was just looking this morning actually at the number of firms that have registered. And we've already got 20 plus buy-side institutions signed up. We've got 15 sell-side and we kind of class within sell-side, broker-dealers, prime brokers, we even kind of bucket custodians in there. You could argue they're providers, but we kind of put them in there. We've got over 30 vendors uh, and kind of platform yeah. providers. We've got five of the biggest trading exchanges, uh, and we've got, I think, three regulators, two of which are two of the main US regulators. And some of the regulation we'll be talking about at the event, those regulators will be there in person. So we've got a huge event, great networking opportunities. Most importantly, we have drinks at the end, which generally <laughs> kind of gets some people to attend that may not want to come. I can't that. say, I can't confirm or deny that I'm flying over from London to New York just for that. Yeah, you probably don't. Yeah, <laughs> your, expenses, your expenses may not be approved on that basis. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's we kind of want everyone to network. We've purposely set points throughout the day before the conference starts, around lunchtime, and then before the last session, and then obviously kind of straight after that session. It's going to be a real buzz because... You know, within New York, there hasn't been much in-person yeah. kind of conferences. You know, Fix used to be one of the biggest ones, still is kind of one of the biggest ones. We're hoping to get over 300 to this. Um, the plan is really to kind of carry this into next year to really set us up well for 2023 and putting on some really big events next year as we kind of prove this one back as being a successful in-person event. Who should be reaching out? So you mentioned there the number of companies and vendors and uh, and various different levels of, uh, of institutions who are going to be there who should still be signing up to this so really i mean it's very broad you know it's as you said you know we've run through the agenda whether you're a technologist whether you're an operations professional whether you are within the c-suite you know we have i've been looking at the names of people that have signed up and we have someone from each one of those categories you know we have heads of ops heads of trading technology, heads of middle office technology, you know, whether you are someone that is focused on pre-trade or right the way through to full and final settlement, FIX has really kind of cemented itself in the industry in that part. If you look at FIX, it's kind of born out of the late 90s, the electronification of the trading markets, but has really now expanded from typically some kind of equities trading into kind of a full life cycle, full asset class workflow. So whether you're someone that's looking at onboarding or someone that works in static data or someone that works in sentiments, it's, it's really going to be something there for everyone. So I would say recommend looking at the agenda and I'm sure we can circulate the, the kind of the link to that agenda. Yeah, absolutely. Um, recommend people join if you're a fixed member, depending on what category of membership you are, there's a number of free passes and if you're not a fixed member obviously you can join uh you can buy a ticket to come to the event and if you do sign up and end up being a fixed member then we generally kind of credit that kind of ticket cost back towards your membership um so i would encourage kind of anyone that's in the financial services industry whether you're kind of a front office trading technologist or whether you're someone that manages all the settlements in the back there's kind of really something for everyone that's very much been part of the DNA of FIX, hasn't it? Yeah, it's not just called the FIX Training Community, uh, you know, by by just name. It is a genuine community that you guys are able to do, and I think you know that there's there's an awful lot of benefit and a lot of evangelism. You know, once you're in in that community, it's something there which becomes a little bit more than just just a membership. It's it kind of it, it, it's a yeah. genuine network, isn't it? Yeah, I, thought, I mean, everything that we do within the FIX community, we're, we're pretty much member led. You know, mm. we we have people that work for fix like myself but when it comes to change when it comes to releasing a new message we're not deciding that 
within FIX. Anyone who's a member can join any one of our working groups. We have a number of committees, whether that's post-trade, whether that's consolidated tape, whether that's pre-trade, whether that's our onboarding group. We have all these different types of groups. And if you're a member, you can join. And if you want to suggest a new message type to solve an industry problem, if there's consensus within the membership, then we will run with that. And we will look to kind of get that work done and deliver that. So the industry has the benefit of a new message type, a new set of standards, better automation, lower risk, lower cost. It, it's kind of the same story all the way through. And, and we're very big on being a, you know, it's a by the industry, for the industry group. You know, we're not there. I'm not there making decisions. It's it's very much we have good governance uh, and we yeah. kind of structure it in a way that anyone can really come to the table with an idea and we, we will listen to it. Superb. November the 8th, uh, we know the November day, the we, know the we know the timings that you mentioned be be beforehand. Uh, yeah. Tell us where, tell us what. Tell us about the venue. So it's, I believe it's the corner of 39th and Madison. Uh, it's kind of a, a venue space. It's got multiple different rooms because we're going to have breakout sessions. There's a period where the dig digital assets one is kind of on the main stage where everyone's going to be in there. Then we break out when post-trade runs alongside one of the technical groups and we have kind of concurrent sessions going on. Each room can cater the number of people that we think is going to be at each one of those sessions. But it's Midtown, New York, 39th and Madison. Kicks off at 11. We're hopefully going to be able to announce the keynote speaker soon. So it's going to be an introduction which will be done by myself. Uh, and Elisa from SIFMA. We're going to do kind of five minutes each and then we should have a 20 minute keynote then straight into the content. And as I said, drinks at five. So anyone who wants to turn up at 4.55, more than welcome. But ideally, <laughs> you'd rather you'd be there at 11 to kind of, uh, kind of be part See of the whole day. You will miss See it. the whole day. Absolutely. Yeah. Look, I can't wait for it. I've, I'm genuinely thrilled to, to, to get out there. It feels like it's been, uh, I've been itching for it to arrive for, for a little while, but now it's yeah. only weeks away. It feels even more exciting. Can't wait to get involved in that discussion as well. Um, Lawrence, thanks so much for for uh, for sharing that and wetting the appetite a little bit. Um, do sign up. Um, I presume it's the fixed website that the people need to go to to find out a little bit more information. Yeah. We'll put the links in here too. Um, Lawrence, any final yeah. thoughts from you? You know, thanks again for having us on. Hopefully, people sign up. And again, if anyone wants any kind of information, you can reach out to me directly on LinkedIn. Uh, any anyone from Fix really uh, on, on on LinkedIn, uh, and we'll get back to you. But likewise, if we can share the link, uh, and yeah, please do sign up. Let's go. It's going to be great. Thanks so much for coming on the show today. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully I'll see you out there in New York on November the 8th. It's going to be a blast. Lawrence, I'll see you there. Excellent. See you there, buddy. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Catch you soon on another episode of Fintech Focus TV.